Hi, today we'll look into the fundamental concepts in design of machine elements. So we'll be looking into the basics of design processes, the factors influencing design of machine elements and the different materials selected based on the mechanical properties for the manufacture of machine elements. Machine design is nothing but the creation of a new machine or making changes in the existing design. A new machine is generally designed so that it is more economical and also there is reduction in the cost of production and operation of the machine. There are three different classifications of machine design. One is the adaptive design, the second one is the development design and the new design. So adaptive design is nothing but making changes in existing design. So no new design is uh, developed, no special knowledge or skill is needed. The designer only makes changes in the existing design. Development design is something which is a new design. So only if the designer is well experienced and has scientific knowledge and training will he be able to develop a new design. And new design also means the same. It requires a lot of research, technical ability and creative thinking. The other classifications of design are as follows. Rational design. Rational design is based on the existing mathematical formula or existing principles. Empirical design is the design based on empirical formula which has already been developed by someone else in the past. Industrial design is the manufacturing of machine components based on the specifications provided in the industry. Optimum design is a design with a function uh, of either ma minimizing cost or maximizing the efficiency etc under specified constraints. System design is a design of a complex system. It can be a car or a bike or a tractor. Element design is a design of small elements within the system. It can be piston, crankshaft, connecting rod, the brake system, the accelerator, etc. Computer aided designing is use of computer for the creation, modification and optimization of the design. Some of the general con considerations in machine design include the type of load and stress caused by the load, the movement of the different parts in the machine, the selection of material used for manufacturing the different parts in the machine, the different forms of the parts used in the manufacture of the machine, the size of the different parts, the frictional resistance and the lubrication properties of the material, convenience and economy plays an important role, usage of standard parts, safety of operation, facilities available in the workshop or in the industry for manufacturing the different components, the number of machines to be manufactured, the cost of construction involved and also the assembling process. So these are the general steps or the general procedure followed in machine design. The need or the aim as to why you are developing this new machine. The mechanism behind the working of the machine needs to be identified followed by which the forces need to be uh, analyzed. Based on the forces and the stresses calculated, materials will be selected and then the design is come up with. Modifications will also be made at this stage so that no production mistakes or no errors uh, will occur. And then detailed drawing of the entire uh, design is, uh, is drawn and then the design is given for production in the industry. Classification of engineering materials. So there are different engineering materials which are used for manufacturing different machine components. They are mainly classified into two different categories, metals and non-metals. Metals include iron, steel, copper, aluminum, etc. Non-metals include glass, rubber, plastic, etc. Non-metals, metals can be further classified as ferrous and non-ferrous metals. Ferrous metals are metals where iron is the main constituent like cast iron, wrought iron and steel. Non-ferrous metals are metals where other metals are the main constituent other than, cop other than iron such as copper, aluminium, brass, tin, etc. 
So how do we select the materials for the different manufacturing processes of the different components? It is based on the availability of the material, the suitability of the material for the working condition during the operation of the machine and also the cost of the material. So the physical properties of the material is very important in order to select a suitable material, suitable metal or a material. So the physical properties of metals include luster, color, size, shape, density, electric conductivity, thermal conductivity, melting point, etc. Some of the density, melting, po melting point, thermal conductivity and coefficient of linear expansion values for different metals is given here. So all these are the physical properties of metals which can be used as to what metal we need to decide for manufacturing different components. The next property is the mechanical property which is also very important in order to design what metal we can use for manufacturing the different components. So some of the mechanical properties of metals include the strength. Strength is the ability of the material to prevent breaking even when external forces are applied. Stiffness is the ability for the material to prevent any change in its shape under stress. Elasticity is the material uh, is a property of the material to regain its original shape even after deformation when an external force is applied and then removed. Plasticity is a property of a material where the material is not able to come back to its original shape under external forces. Ductility is the ability of the material to be drawn into wires when a force is externally applied. Brittleness is just the opposite of ductility. It is a property of materials to be uh, to, to break with a little force, external force applied. Malleability is the, it is similar to ductility, ductility but it is when the material is to be, uh, is able to be rolled or hammered into thin sheets. Toughness is the, uh, is the property of material to resist fracture due to impact or external force. Machinability is the ability of the material to be cut. Resilience is the property of material to absorb energy, to resist shock and also to absorb the external load. Creep is the permanent or slow deformation occurring in the material when it is subjected to a constant stress at high temperature for a long period of time. Fatigue. Fatigue is when a material is subjected to continuous external force so at one point it fails and that point is below the yield point stress value. The last property is hardness. So hardness is the ability to resist uh, the ability to resist wear, scratching, deformation, machinability etc. Some of the tests used for determining the hardness of a material is Br Brinell's hardness test, Rockwell hardness test, Vickers test, Shor scleroscope. Thank you.